In 2010, thousands of people across the world shared an impossible memory. They vividly remembered Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s, even recalling watching the funeral coverage on television. There was just one problem, Mandela was very much alive, not passing away until 2013. This wasn't just a simple case of misremembering. People could describe specific details of an event that never happened, collectively experiencing what became known as the Mandela Effect. But what if these shared false memories aren't mistakes at all? What if they're evidence of something far more profound? Memories bleeding through from parallel universes. Recent discoveries in quantum physics and neuroscience suggest this mind-bending possibility might not be as far-fetched as it sounds. To understand how parallel universes might be interfering with our memories, we need to first understand something remarkable about how memories form in the brain. At the smallest scale, memory formation depends on quantum processes, the strange rules that govern reality at the atomic level. Inside our neurons, proteins called microtubules exhibit quantum behavior, creating a bridge between the quantum realm and our conscious experience. This is where things get truly strange. According to quantum mechanics, Particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until they're observed, a phenomenon called quantum superposition. But what happens when these quantum processes occur inside our brains? Recent research suggests that our memories might not be as fixed or singular as we think. Just as a quantum particle can exist in multiple states, our memories might exist in a kind of superposition across multiple realities. The evidence for this comes from several directions. First, Neuroscientists have discovered that memories aren't stored like files on a computer, but are actually reconstructed each time we remember them. This reconstruction process is influenced by quantum effects at the molecular level, making our memories susceptible to interference from quantum phenomena. Second, physicists have found evidence that quantum effects can persist in biological systems far longer than previously thought possible, suggesting our brains might be far more quantum than classical in nature. But to understand how memories might leak between universes, we need to grasp one of the most mind-bending interpretations of quantum mechanics, the many worlds interpretation. According to this theory, every quantum event splits reality into multiple branches, creating parallel universes where different possibilities play out. This isn't science fiction. It's a mathematical consequence of quantum mechanics that many physicists take seriously. What makes this relevant to our memories is a phenomenon called quantum entanglement. When particles become entangled, they remain connected regardless of distance, what Einstein called spooky action at a distance. Recent research has shown that the proteins involved in memory formation can become quantum entangled, creating networks of connected particles inside our brains. Here's where it gets profound. If these quantum entangled networks exist across parallel universes, they might create bridges between different versions of reality. Think of it like radio stations bleeding into each other. Under certain conditions, signals from one reality might interfere with another. The evidence for this comes from cutting-edge experiments in quantum biology. Scientists have discovered quantum coherence, the ability of particles to maintain quantum properties in biological systems at room temperature, something previously thought impossible. More remarkably, these quantum effects have been found in the very proteins responsible for memory storage and consciousness. In 2022, researchers at the Max Planck Institute made an even more startling discovery. They found that quantum processes in brain cells don't just affect individual memories, they can influence entire networks of memories simultaneously. This suggests our memories might exist in a quantum superposition across multiple realities until we try to recall them, at which point they collapse into a single version but not always the version from our original reality. This quantum nature of memory raises an even more profound question, what happens when we remember? Each time we recall a memory, we're not simply playing back a recording, we're performing a complex quantum measurement that could potentially tap into memories from multiple realities. This explains why memories can feel so fluid, why they can change over time, and why different people can have completely different recollections of the same event. Consider the implications. Every decision you make, every quantum choice, splits reality into multiple branches. But if memories can quantum tunnel between these branches, then your consciousness might not be confined to a single timeline. Your memories might be a composite of multiple versions of you, living different lives in parallel realities. This isn't just theoretical speculation, 
Researchers have identified specific quantum signatures in brain activity that suggest our neurons are processing information from multiple quantum states simultaneously. When these quantum states decohere, collapse into a single classical state, we get a definite memory. But sometimes this decoherence process might select memories from a parallel branch of reality instead of our own. This mechanism explains several previously mysterious phenomena. Deja vu, for instance, might be moments when memories from parallel realities briefly bleed through into our consciousness. The uncanny feeling that this has happened before might be literally true. It did happen, just to another version of you in a parallel universe. Even more intriguing are cases of shared false memories like the Mandela effect. If multiple people's quantum memory networks become entangled, something quantum physics suggests is possible, they might collectively access memories from the same parallel reality. This would explain why large groups of people can share detailed memories of events that never happened in our timeline. The implications of quantum memory transfer reach far beyond explaining false memories. They force us to reconsider the very nature of consciousness and personal identity. If our memories can come from multiple realities, who exactly are we? Are we single, continuous beings, or are we more like nodes in a vast network of quantum-connected consciousness, constantly exchanging information across parallel universes? Recent experiments in quantum computing provide a tantalizing glimpse of what might be possible. Scientists have successfully transferred quantum information between separated quantum computers, a process remarkably similar to how memories might transfer between parallel realities. This raises an extraordinary possibility. Could we learn to intentionally access memories from other timelines? The technology to test this might already be emerging. Advanced brain-computer interfaces combined with quantum sensors could potentially detect and even manipulate the quantum states involved in memory formation. Imagine being able to consciously explore memories from other versions of yourself, accessing knowledge and experiences from paths not taken in this reality. But this possibility comes with profound implications for free will and personal responsibility. If our memories and therefore our decisions are influenced by quantum interference from parallel realities, how much of our choices are truly our own? Are we making decisions based on our experiences in this reality, or are we being unconsciously guided by knowledge bleeding through from other timelines? The answer might lie in an even more radical possibility. What if this quantum memory bleeding isn't a bug in reality, but a feature? What if our consciousness evolved to take advantage of quantum effects specifically to access information from parallel realities? This would explain why our brains maintain quantum coherence at temperatures where it shouldn't be possible. We might be quantum computers designed to process information from multiple realities simultaneously. This leads us to a startling conclusion about the nature of human consciousness. Rather than being isolated individuals we might be more like quantum nodes in a vast network of consciousness spanning multiple realities. Our memories, our decisions, our very sense of self, might be constantly shaped by information flowing between parallel universes. The future implications are staggering. As we develop a better understanding of quantum biology and consciousness, we might learn to consciously access this network of parallel memories, Imagine being able to draw on the experiences and knowledge of countless versions of yourself, accessing skills you never learned in this reality but mastered in another. But perhaps most profoundly, this theory suggests that our consciousness might be far more expansive and interconnected than we ever imagined. Every decision we make, every path we choose, might not be lost but rather added to a vast quantum library of possible experiences one that we're all unconsciously drawing from every time we remember, decide, or dream. This isn't just a theory about memory. It's a fundamental reimagining of what it means to be human. In a universe where memories can cross between realities, we are not just the product of our own experiences, but participants in a vast quantum network of consciousness, constantly sharing information across the boundaries of reality itself.